Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live, Wednesday night edition. Yes, yes, yes. As you can see, it's myself, my main man, Transformer, and my brother, G. What's good, y'all? What's happening? Chief. <laughs> All right, all right. So we're gonna uh we're gonna hold up here, wait a couple minutes, see what we get in the uh see what we get in the chat, and then uh we are going to get it rolling. I think we got some uh we got some pretty official topics here for y'all. We got uh we got some good quick hits and we're gonna try to keep them quick. And then uh as you can see, we will do our our normal, our uh Wednesday night special to to pick them, see how that goes, and then uh we'll we'll talk about the Ravens and uh we won't go crazy, but we will talk about the Ravens. I'm keeping y'all on the time of the day. <laughs> and then we got um, Adam Silver. That should be interesting. And then uh, a little college football, which we don't normally talk on this show, but we're going to talk about Dion, Coach Prime, and, and those Buffaloes of his because um, yeah. it's looking real interesting. I think when, whenever you're talking Dion, man, it's bigger than college. I mean, that's just sports. Yeah, it could be right? interesting. What up, yeah. Bruce? No, we do not need G on his BS tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need nobody on no BS tonight. But we going we got a good show for y'all, man. We we gonna do that though. <laughs> uh, we gonna make it. We gonna make it. <laughs> oh my goodness. We gonna make it. We yes, we are. Yes, we it. are. Oh, yeah, I know what I was about to talk about. What's up, G? Stephen A, man. You think he got something against Lamar? Too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon. Yeah, no, that's not how we start the show. That's not how we start the show. That's not how we start the show. We're going to right, right. talk about LeBron, then y'all want to talk about LeBron? No, no, not even. That's 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 Bruce's that's alley, later, bro. bro. That's later. No, oh. oh, man. Let's talk about right. our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right. No, no, no. Pat Riley getting a statue in front of uh the stadium. I think that's yeah, the, that's dope. Yeah, that's definitely that one of the quick hits. We're gonna hit that. It that's is dope, dope man. man. We'll yeah. Talk about that. All right, uh I got an interesting uh, stat on for that quick hit, too. Kind of crazy. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so um we're gonna get ready and, and get started in just a minute here. Um trickling in slowly. Uh, while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the spiel. You all know what time it is. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio-only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up if you're enjoying the content make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment all that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm helps us find more sports fans helps more sports fans find us and finally make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i can't wait. can't wait can't wait since we're discussing the NFL, we're going to go right on to the next topic. And this is one we're going to try to keep this under control and uh, try not to lose I'm it. My time right you, got, now. you got two Ravens fans on the panel. You got some in the chat. So um, we're going we're going to try to do this. So uh, thank you, Lake Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on, bro. <laughs> right, right, right. So today, um, what, what, what I want to talk about, obviously, coming off of um, – the loss last week to the rival Pittsburgh Steelers in the AFC North. Baltimore Ravens now sitting at seven and four. And um they have uh they got a bit of a they got some tough games coming up uh down the stretch to end this end this season. And so that that begs the question now, are the Ravens in trouble? A couple of weeks ago, you know, they were looking at it, they were being looked at as clearly the number two team in the AFC, just balling, uh shredding up everybody, and now you see um you see there at seven and four, very quietly, you have the Bills at what, eight and two, uh, playing extremely good football, knocking off the undefeated uh, champions, going for their uh, three-peat. And so you start looking at it and you look at the schedule and say, hmm, what, what could we have here, right? So we got the loss to Pittsburgh last week. Uh, you got the Clippers, uh, the Clippers, the Chargers, LA Chargers on Monday night. That's going to be a tough one. I do not see uh, a double-digit win. Hey, I will be happy. <laughs> 
you know, Sunday night when we get on here to say I was dead wrong and 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 Lamar got busy. I I, I would love to see that. I just I don't know that I do. Right. Um, following that, that Chargers game, the following week, you got the Eagles, who is right there fighting to be, you know, the top of the NFC. So mm-hmm. that's a tough one. You get a little bit of reprieve after that with the Giants. OK, the Giants are everybody's get well card. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> and Danny. DeVito. That, right. The cutlets <laughs> um, following that. You got you got Pittsburgh. You got the Steelers coming to the to the bank. And so that should be hopefully that's a revenge game. But that's going to be another tough smash mouth affair. You know, buckle your chin, chin strap type thing. Following that, you got the Texans. They are you know, they're looking to win their division and they're looking to set up some seating in the AFC playoffs as well. So and then you finish up with Cleveland, who you should beat, but you lost to them already this season. So. You've got some tough games uh, coming down the stretch in uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five out of your remaining six are not easy. So it begs the question at this point, um, how are the Ravens looking? Are they in danger of missing the playoffs? Are they going to end up with a, a lower seed? And if they do, how does that affect what what their ultimate goal is to end this season? And what are some of the key uh, contributing factors there? Before I pass it off to um, G here, I want to say the biggest thing for me is the same issue I've had all season long. I don't believe in Todd Munkin. I cannot understand every time the offense gets into a flow for a few games, he seems to go away from that. I I just don't get it. I just don't get why he doesn't want to give Derrick Henry the consistent carries that opens up the rest of the offense. We know Lamar Jackson has become an elite passer. There's no question about that. But this is an offense where everything works together. But before I go off on a on a tangent here, I'm gonna pass it to my main man G. Uh, what you got, dummy? <laughs> yeah, stupid. Well, I said people is um, what was happening is they overreacting, man. Like this is the the you know the last quarter of the season. Um, this is when you start to see teams just dominate, right? Like either you have it or you don't. What we saw last week, people were getting like, oh, you know, it was a tough loss. Um, they barely won. Right. Um, two points barely winning without, you know, we stopped them from getting in the end zone. They kicked six, six field goals and they got the W. So, OK, big deal. Um, we we didn't we show that we still lack discipline. Um, there's still some some issues there. But I think stopping, a, 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 a you know, future Hall of Fame quarterback and a, a, a tier one receiver from getting into the end zone is, is, is damn good. I thought the defense played pretty well. The offense was definitely the issue. And so. Um, for the, the the second, the, I'm sorry, the final quarter of the season, you might see us strapping up out our chin strap and running the ball 30, 40 times, right? Um, we say we've seen, um, we haven't seen Lamar make a lot of plays, um, down the field. We haven't seen him take it off, you know, and do what he normally do. This time of year, yeah, like in the last, the previous years, he probably would have had like four or five, maybe I'm sorry, like ten touchdowns on the ground, and I, I don't think he's there yet. I think I, I think he has twenty five on the season with almost mm-hmm. 3,000 yards in the air. So mm-hmm. the offense still has that bite to it to be explosive and mm-hmm. atomic with um, Derrick Henry. It's just yes. a matter of getting that discipline down. I think if mm-hmm. um, we play a game where we don't have multiple flags thrown, um, you see a different outcome in that, that Steelers game. And that that is one of the best defense. And so um, not panicking, um, just concern, mm-hmm. right? Um, especially with Jay Tuck, right? Um he hit those two field goals. It's a different story. We're not having this conversation. It's not That's even a, a topic, but absolutely. Um, so yeah, I think you just you just let it play out, man. Um, the AFC Dolph is never easy, right? Even with uh, Jamison Winston, or you know, you saying Flacco make the t- make the super, uh, the playoffs last year, you know, coming mm-hmm. in when uh, Deshaun got hurt. So um, it's it's tough in the AFC North. It's normally Smash Mouth, and I think a lot of people, a lot of fans, right, new and old. That's what they. You, that's what you gonna have to. That's what's gonna happen, right? It's gonna, it's gonna happen. You are gonna hear some cracks. You gonna mm-hmm. you gonna see people like you know leaving the game early, and right. um, we saw that. I I think uh, Roquan really had a concussion. Um, I didn't really see a hamstring injury. Um, okay. Yeah, when they take your helmet, right? Yeah. I thought that was. Yeah, right. Yeah, I thought that was um that was um, one of the protocols for a concussion. And so, um, it's good to point. see he's questionable. Um, and um, if he plays, of course, it's going to be a different game. Is he an animal, man? He a dog. That defense looks totally different when he cracking people um, mm-hmm. versus the uh, the younger guys. But 
No, no need to panic. It's too soon, man. We didn't get to the playoffs. This time last year, he was rushing. He was, you know, he in there running around. Then we see him getting the, uh, in, the, in the playoffs. He ain't had no legs on him. So at least we know this year, you know, he's been in the pocket. He's made some plays with his legs. But at the same time, um, he's preserving himself. I say that. Preserving himself for, for the playoffs. Um, uh, not a lot of plays. Um, not a lot of bootlegs. Um, then we, we do see him. It seems like don't nobody know what the hell the play is. But that's my two cents, man. Um, no need to panic. Just just Ravens football, man. I, maybe they're looking at it totally different. But that tight end screen needs to go. <laughs> when a tight end line on the center, man, that's not that's a bad play, man. I, I don't know. But that's all I got. All right. Transformer. I don't know why this is even a topic. It's a complete overreaction. Ravens literally control their own fate. They do. The two two teams that are in front of you, you play you play this year. The Steelers and the Houston Texans. You win both those games, you're in. Easier said than done, right? Go and take care of business. You just lost to the the the, the Pittsburgh Steelers, in which I said you were going to lose on the road. Mm-hmm. You got to bring them to Baltimore, right? Where Justin Tucker's probably more comfortable. All right. The reason why he's stressed out is not on the road. Right, he's probably gonna make three field goals, right? A lot of probabilities, right? But I, I do feel confident that they take care of business at home. I'm not sure what their record is at home. Um, um, for the uh I was trying to look it up real quick, but I couldn't find it what their home record is. But I do think they control their own fate um by beating the Houston Texans, beating the um uh, beating the Steelers at home. Um, I look at a couple of other factors. You're number one in off you're number one in office of yards in the league, right? And you're number three in sacks, right? So I'm like, those type of qualities when you have a soon to be three time MVP and Lamar mm-hmm. Jackson, I'm not going to stress out because you just lost by two points against the Pittsburgh Steelers in a divisional game where we always say those divisional those divisional games are tricky, they're tough, you can't call them, right? They lost by two in a game where they only gave a field goal. So obviously the defense is stepping up and they're doing their part. This is just one of those games where offensively we just weren't connecting the dots like we normally do, right? We've seen the Ravens put up 30 plus. We've seen Lamar Jackson look like a complete freaking Michael Vick times two or Michael Vick on steroids um, mm-hmm. when it came to a scramble. We've seen Derrick Henry with 20 touches, 20 touches where he only get 40 yards, but then in that 21st touch, he's taking 60 yards to the house because the defense mm-hmm. is worn down. We've seen that from the Ravens, right? So, I, I'm not going to stress and concern about losing game number uh, game number eleven against a Pittsburgh Steelers team who who is strapped right strapped defensively at home against another Hall of Fame coach and Mike Tomlin um, and future Hall of Famer quarterback and Russell Wilson who did enough to get the job done right you lost by five you lost by six field goals I'm okay I'm okay with that right we come in we shape we shape up what we got to, we, what we got going and when they get home we blast them with it. Right, we right our wrongs and we go from there. Can you guys fix the um the pre-snap penalties? Maybe. I mean, right now it's just it's still not looking good. Pre-snap is not looking good. Um, bonehead defensive pass interferences is not looking good. Too many men uh down the field is not looking good. You are the number one team in penalties, but hopefully you guys can find a way to correct that as the scene the season's starting to narrow down and we're getting to the playoffs where those things could really cost you a football game, it'll cost you your season. So I'm not gonna stress about stress out about it. I think this is just a complete overreaction. So <clears throat> I hear you. I don't know that I go as far as to say complete overreaction. I think it would have to be a total collapse for them not to make the playoffs at this point. But like you just look and you say, man, when when Baltimore is bad, they're bad, right? When they don't play well, they do not play well, and they got some tough opposition coming up down the stretch. So I, you know, I, I believe there was. It was worth discussing, maybe, maybe for my own, uh, my own comfort, for you guys to talk me off the ledge a little bit. But um, <laughs> you know, they, they, for me, there's some concern there. And the other part is, these aren't for the most part like high flying offenses they're playing. Mm. It's not only that they're playing tough physical teams. So now, even if you, even if you, uh, let's say you get the wins you need, you get into the playoffs, get a decent seed, they're gonna take their pound of flesh out of you with the physicality. So that's the other part of it. So, I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but I don't think that 
we shouldn't be concerned. And real quick, I noticed one of the first things you said was soon to be three time MVP and Lamar is playing out of his mind. But there has been, I'll say, they've wanted Josh, the powers that be have wanted Josh Allen to be MVP for like five years now. And that dude is balling this year. We we can agree on that, right? Yeah. I mean, you just knocked off dude. the MVP, the Super Bowl yeah. champ. Well, I mean, not not even just that, though, but, I mean, he's he's playing ball. So, um, we got to see what he does the rest of the way. I don't think it's foregone that Lamar is going to get his third and his, um, you know, get this back-to-back. He Obviously, he's the leader in the clubhouse right now, but uh, I don't think it's foregone. If Josh Allen keeps playing the way he is, believe me, there will be uh, there'll be a lot of votes that are going to go his way. Yeah, I can see that along with voters fatigue. That too, yeah. yeah that's that's a real fatigue. thing. Yeah, we know yeah. that's a real thing. Um, yeah, so just wanted to throw that out there as well. I would say something, but it's not even worth talking about. Josh Allen, I got it. Just mute no, your I, mic, bro. <clears throat> Let it all out in your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not. I, know, I do like it. You know. I mean, I think uh, like Lamar Jackson, this is that point in time of the year. He definitely <laughs> starts playing a different level of football um, where he's like he's more like figuring it out. Like he took the first first two court, two thirds of the seasons like, OK, this is what we're doing. OK, I don't want to do that no more. Let's right. let's go and get it. All right. We got to <laughs> we got to we got to get in the playoff hunt. Right. Like I said, they control their own fate. You go and you beat the Chargers, you beat the Steelers, you beat the Texans, you're in. You beat two out of the three, you're in, right? Those two, those are the three teams that are either in front of you in your division or in front of you in the standings to where if it did become a wild card thing, you have the lead on them, right? Right. I mean, you were undefeated against the NFC, right? So you're not worried about the Giants. So you're not worried about the Eagles in a sense, right? That that's that should be a good game. So, but you're right. undefeated against the NFC. So you know, play play with your strengths and don't play with your fool when it comes to the people that are in front of you in your own conference. Don't play with your fool. Go out there and get it done. Todd Munkin, bro. That's what I'm – football, that, bro. That is my biggest worry. Right. I don't football. trust that guy. I just uh, – that is my biggest worry is Todd Munkin. Great, yeah. great call there. Mm-hmm. Other than that, man, that's all I got. All right. Gee, do you want to add any uh, any um, final before we go ahead and open up the phone lines, man? Nah, nah, this is gonna be a quick one tonight. Yeah, hey, I think man, so. I'm proud. I'm proud of him, man. I'm proud of him. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so. man, you've been doing all the yapping tonight, man. I've been chilling, man. I've been listening. Have I? My bad. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My I bad. put a timer on you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. So the lines are open. 904-219-8264. 904-219-8264. And it's scrolling on the bottom of the screen. Give us a call. Let us know uh your thoughts on this topic. And, uh, yeah, what, what, what you think about Baltimore going forward, how hard it's going to be, or if it's going to be simple for him, if if I'm overreacting, because uh, I am a bit concerned. <laughs> Talk him off the ledge if you can, okay? He's I'll panicking. He's hitting the panic button. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you look at your, you look at your losses this, this year, 27 and 20, seven points, 26 and 23, mm-hmm. three points, 29, right. 24, five points. 18, 16, two points. I'm not too concerned, right? If you're getting cooked out there, eh, it's a little bit of concern. But, you know, those are those are tight games. And, like, two of those are divisional. Mm-hmm. So, you're the Browns and the Steelers, they're both divisional. Right. Those, you know, we always say that those are the tough ones. So, mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and take this call. Yep. Bruce, what's good, my man? What's good with y'all boys tonight, man? Maintaining, maintaining. Maintaining, maintaining. I want to see something about this playoff. Uh, oh, l- let me say this, man. I'm a pessimist, right? You know what a pessimist is, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is a pessimist, Bruce? A pessimist is someone who pessimist. thinks uh, glass half empty type, a negative thinker. Absolutely. Not a, not a really a negative thinker, but I, I worry a lot and shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and it's get like my man Conway the Machine say uh, from Gazala the Records is getting spooky for the Ravens that that, that schedule coming down the stretch. Mm-hmm. Well, we got four losses. Let's, let's look at the let's be real. We got to go to L.A. I mean, who said that's going to be easy? It's not. That's a, then we got to play Philly. Philly rolling. Come off the bye, mm-hmm. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh got our number. Then we got to come back two days later. And got <laughs> I'm mad he called the Giants a bye. Later. 
<laughs> so John to buy, John to buy. Right, right, right. John to buy. Facts. We got to buy coming at the Philly, right? He had to be yeah, yeah. We got to buy at the Philly. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Listen to me. We already, we already got four losses. Mm-hmm. The coach creeping. Now, anybody can't count these teams out yet. It's, it's like it's like right now the playoffs are started now. This year for the playoffs to start it. You already got four losses. Got to go to L.A. That's going to be tough. Who's who said? That's up in the air. I ain't even gonna lie, right? Now. That's up in the air. We got to play Philly. Philly rolling. Mm-hmm. We go on the bye. We come off the bye. I think we play like three games in fifteen days. Then we got to play Pittsburgh again. Mm-hmm. Then we play Houston on Christmas. Yo, yep. yep. understand what I'm saying? Who else we got? Oh, we got Cleveland. That's not. We think Cleveland ain't gonna give us give us all that last game. We already. It's not, it's right. not a lock. Right. It's not a lock right now. Mm-hmm. We already two. We already two games behind in the AFC North. I'm I'm looking at it at that, at that in, in that perspective. It's not going to be easy. I'm not I'm not I'm not worrying, but I, I'm like it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a possibility. Mm-hmm. I'm not just, just personal personalist in right now. I'm just not I'm not no I'm not I'm not circling the bubble right now for us. No, we already got four losses now. It would take a moment. We, we got we got to at least win three out of this six. We got to win. We got to split them. We got to get three out of this six. Yeah, I think, nine and eight yeah. get well. Nine and eight get us in. It, it, coming down the stretch, AFC's tough. Man. Hey, listen, Miami rolling. Miami playing better. The Colts won last week. Uh, give um Rich Sinners flowers. Who say the Colts won't go on the run? Who say Miami won't won't lose another game? Miami playing well since Tua came back. We got to look at those things. Yo, mm-hmm. he got four losses now, and I contribute that. And I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even mad about the Pittsburgh loss. Know why? Because we already lost to Cleveland. And, and what'd you call it? And the Raiders. That was that was worse than the Pittsburgh loss. Yeah. So I'm already okay. immune to. I'm already immune to the losing of you know stinking it up. But I'm looking at it like, damn, we already got four losses. We we in the fifth. We in we the fifth seed right now. The playoff started today. I thought it but was. We still six. got six we games. Six seed. We the six seed. Mm-hmm. Look, one more. We seven. And one, one more. One more after eight. We out. So we get, it's only seven teams make it now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we got to we got to tighten up, man. It's it's we really got to tighten up. I'm I'm the big brother who always I'm the big brother that worry about everything. So like we had a family. I'm that big brother. Like okay, everybody like yeah, we gonna make it. We gonna make it. I'm like no, man. We we gonna tighten up. We might don't make it. I'm that brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's getting spooky, man. Like that's that's that's, that's a tough stretch. We ready to come down. Yeah, that, that that's what I was kind of saying to, to G and Transformer, and, and again, I'm just I'm so worried about Todd Munkin, man, because I just have a lot of problems believing in that guy. I'm just not sure. No, I don't know that one thing. I hate that he's from that quick screen shit. I hate that shit. The wide receiver screen shit behind mm-hmm. the line pass shit. Mm-hmm. I hate that, yo. I hate it. I like it when it works, <laughs> but most of the time it don't work. Right, right, right. It don't work. It just, I hate that shit. I rather, I rather for you to give it up Dirk Henry that carry right there. He needs to get 25 carries a game anyway. That's what I say. That's what I say. And plain and simple, Mike Tomlin uh, smarter than John Harbaugh. He's an outstanding period. coach. Period. He got out coach. He got out coached by Mike Tomlin, period. Down the stretch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even though we made, what, 12 penalties? Yeah. Three turnovers? Yeah. Two missed field goals. Yeah. Two missed field goals. Dark Henry from on the first play of the game. And we still was in it. But still, at the end of the game, when the, when the time came, when that two-point conversion came up, Mike, Mike Tom had seen what they was going to try to do. He called that timeout, and he adjusted his defense. We didn't adjust our offense to what they was trying to do to us. So you know what happened? They – um. Baltimore flipped the play and tried to run the exact same play just to the opposite side. That's why basically, but that's that's balling. I'm like, come but on, still man. Mike, but still, Mike Mike Tomlin he he called he called that timeout for a reason. Mm-hmm. And they from when I you know I look, I look at all the press conferences, you know they say what you call him? Uh, Patrick Cream. I, I watched this cut his, his conference. Yeah, I watched I watched this um post game. He say he he knew what it was what it was going to be. That's mm-hmm. why they called the timeout. Mm-hmm. So they basically giving Patrick Crane the credit for that that two point conversion, which was a horrible call. I'm going to I'm going I'm going heavy package. Pat Ricard, get that bitch the big fella. Let's go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tush push or something. Tush push. Try to get cute on the goal line, man. So 
basically Tomlin is a smarter. This is one step ahead of John Harbaugh right now. I don't know. I think a situation coach. situation like that is where the, the physicality has so? to come in. I, well, I'm talking about the yeah. two-point conversion, and I agree with what you said yeah. about the heavy set, two tight ends yeah. and all that. Like, load it up. Absolutely. Get, load hand it up. Derrick, Derrick Henry to rock, and if, you know, that's a time where you have to be able to convert in a situation like that. And you show, we are a physical football team. We can match up with you, and Absolutely. when it comes down to it, we can get those couple of yards. Absolutely. But I, I agree was, with you. They would talk about that on NFL Live today. Mike Tomlin said, you know, I'd be in all that. Mm -hmm, they like mm -hmm. to bully the bully. Like, the mm -hmm. Baltimore like to come in as the bully. We want to be the ones who bully the bully. Right. And Sunday, Pittsburgh was a little, one wasn't really tough. It was a little tiny bit more mentally tough, but no, not. They was a little bit a little tougher than us on uh, mm -hmm. Sunday. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I ain't afraid to admit that. If they got the turnover. And give, I'm going to give Patrick Cream his flowers. The kid played good, man. Mm -hmm. I give it to him. And I don't like how they did him. Come on, they ain't offer him not like nothing. Like what was it? it was what, what was going on in there? That Jones got no rap for him. Like what was that? Yeah, I don't know. That's Smith that. was the guy. That's some inside shit. But still, like well, they didn't offer him nothing. Like they didn't show him no love. Like basically, mm -hmm. like like scram. Like Trent Simpson is the one. Like they just they didn't show Patrick Cream no love. Like mm -hmm. in the free agency, like nothing. Like he said, was it nothing? He said he's heard about that. He said he heard about it. Mm. He said yeah, that shit motivated him, him to go to Pittsburgh. He said he said he was hurt. I I, I respect the man <laughs> that that's showing that vulnerability. He said he was kind of he, he stung him. That shit stung him a little bit. It stung, and his absence had his absence has hurt us. To be truthful, I don't care what nobody said. Mm. He Trenton, Trenton Simpson is not better than no Patrick Quinn. Period. <laughs> he is not. Right. Right. He is not. Trenton Simpson is not better than no Pat, Patrick Quinn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, he just not. I'm just, yeah, so far, it's like, got to tighten it up, man. This game is not going to be easy. It's not no shoe in. We're going to get in. They said we 99%. You see, they, I was looking at the, the statistics of, like, how many chances the teams are making it to the play. They said we yeah, 99%. I think I saw 97, yeah. 97, I but I still, man. It's, it's, it's getting I'm, I'm, I'm about to get into that in a second. We already in a slick slot. We already in a slick slot now. Mm -hmm. Come on, that we go. Says every game is a must win from here on out. The playoffs have started now. I agree. The playoff, the playoff has started. We already got four losses. We ain't got no more. We got, we ain't got really, really got, got not no wiggle room. But we probably gonna lose, afford to lose two, two more games. We get a Tennessee to probably get us there because we beat Denver already. In Houston, Houston gonna win the South. So they, no, no, no. Who, who, who we beat? We beat Denver. We beat somebody that's leading in, leading the conference. But anyway, the Bills. Yeah. The Bills. Yeah, we beat the Bills. So they ain't gonna matter because the Bills gonna win the East. So yeah. that's not that's just count yeah. that out. They're gonna be second first seed anyway. It'll, you know what I'm saying? But we do got one up on Denver right now. So, um Hey man. <laughs> hey. It's, it's not it's looking not, as spooky as you said. It's not looking as spooky as you said it was. It, 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 it's not, man, because when I look at the standards, right? You gotta look at the teams that can catch you, right? The only teams that can physically yeah, okay, catch you. Will be the Denver Broncos or the Indianapolis Colts. Those two teams got to play each other. Not necessarily because Miami, because Miami five and six. Miami you know, has to literally go undefeated. They're not going undefeated. You can't. We can't say that until it happens. So you, yeah. they would have to go undefeated, and you guys would have to lose four games. You think you're gonna lose four games? Man, four? That's hey, a lot. I don't think we listen. I just, just need, we need that tight end up. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, I think I think what he's saying, Transformer. The only game that's almost a gimme is that Giants game. Everyone yeah, else is going to be very tough. Up in the air, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's the well, like I said, this is this is where you show and you flex who you are, right? Mm -hmm. That's what champions do. You you step up in those big moments. You go shoulder charges. Why? You know, okay, you're not finna manhandle us. All right, we're gonna little brother you like we've always done, Jim. You're catching this L today, right? Yeah, you you, right. you go against the Eagles and you show why we are undefeated against the NFC, right? You gotta play the chalk, you gotta play the Giants. Okay, that's a gimme. You gotta go so in Steelers. Now you gotta come to our house. Y'all only beat us by field goals. We played defensively, we played pretty good, right? We only held y'all to field goals, yeah. we kept y'all out of the end zone. But now you gotta come to our house. And when you come to our house, it's gonna be a little different. All right, we're gonna we're gonna show out. Yeah. So I think I think like like I said, Baltimore they hold the keys to the to the to the to the car. They're in the driver's seat, right? They just need to go Absolutely. out, win four games. They're in there. 
they, they beat Houston. Right. They beat they beat Houston. They beat the Steelers. They beat the Chargers. It's done. It's a lot. At that point, it's a lot. Indianapolis literally have to go five and one. I don't see them. Do you see Anthony Richardson beating and going five and one at this point? At this point of his career, Denver Broncos will literally hey. have to go almost undefeated when they still got to play the Colts, hey. the Chargers, the Bengals, the Chiefs Absolutely. in a row. Hey. Tim, T- Tim Tebow did it. Why can't Anthony Richardson? Oh, <laughs> Tebow sighting. I mean, Tebow Tebow's sighting much better than him, bro. Hey, I said, I said, Tim Tebow did it. Why can't Anthony Richardson? Because Tebow was a winner. Anthony Richardson don't know how to win nothing. Listen, let me say this. Let me say this. And the coach not no scrubs now. No, I like they ain't, they ain't got nothing over there. They tough. I ain't saying it was no scrubs. The quarterback play. They ain't no scrubs. The coach is not no. They they tough over there now. Don't sleep on them. They're not going to Seems like both of the Bruces are uh, in Indianapolis Colts fans. Yeah, because I mean they got to play. They got to play the Lions next. Tebow. They're gonna get cooked. He, he trying right? to say, he trying to say Tim Tebow is better than Anthony Richardson. Stop. Tim Maybe Tebow is better than Anthony Richardson. But yeah, man. Um, okay. Maybe I'm a pessimist. Maybe I'm, I'm just worrying a little too much and shit. Y'all stress, you know? sir. Not me, not me. You want y'all gonna let me get my spell? Y'all wanna hear my spell? I was waiting for you, G. Go ahead, G. Go ahead, G. Go ahead, G. Go ahead, G. Unmute so, yourself. So, oh, there you go. So, so uh, I don't know, man. Russell Russell Wilson is a, a really good quarterback, man. They 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 was coached really really well. I think the Steelers. I think people people uh, gave the Steelers too much props. They did they did come out with a win, but it was no end zone time for them. It was all field goals. And um, we played all the losses. I mean, anytime you you in a season and you do, you you have the most flags than any other team. I don't know how many flags we average in a game, but I know a lot of the big games we had like a lot of flags. Right, you remove those at least half of them. Right, it's a different game. Um, but the, but then think about this as well. Like you got your your quarterback who hasn't been running the ball, which means he hasn't been getting hit. You know, in the legs and and, and we, what we saw. Last year on his run to MVP, um, he didn't have anything left in the tank when it came time for the playoffs. And so maybe, just maybe, um, just my thoughts, um, maybe they trying to like not have him be so take as many hits as he was the year before that. Now the MVP that doesn't mean anything to slay the, or slaughter these uh these quarterbacks, right? You just want to win in the pocket. Now we changed the offense and now we 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 really starting to run. The, uh, the the run the RB uh, the run option, and we really starting to make uh, players make decisions. It becomes a different game at the, the, the at fourth quarter. So I think when um, there's no need to kind of panic right now, right? Like if anything, we need an, another kicker, right? Somebody who can you know we can depend on more so than than to worry about like what's going on with the um, the offense right now. Um, I think I think um, after. We've we've seen um, Lamar be as vocal as he was after that loss, and and kind of like on the sideline. I don't know if you guys was watching it when um, uh, Hill got the ball taken from him. Right, he cussed his ass out that whole series that um, the the Steelers had the game, and every time they cut to him, he's still like chewing his ass out. Like, man, you you got to understand what I'm saying. Like this this kid is a leader, and 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 I think when we <laughs> play against the uh, the Chargers, you you gonna probably see him. Um, uh, 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 at his best, so I predict the Jackson five, just because. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I, I predict the Jackson five just because. Um, we saw uh, what was it the week before last when the ball was just dropping off from motherfuckers' hands, like the ball was hitting people in the face and shit, and they weren't catching it. They came back the next game and and and, and demolished. Really good game. Nobody talking about. Oh yeah, we ain't gonna make the playoffs. Everybody on high. Then we get punched in our mouth by the Steelers, right? Um, literally punched. You lost by two. Too. It's not like you got. And we drunk. lost by two. All yeah, our losses, you like you said, you went down the line. All the losses was like within a touchdown, right? All of yeah. them, every last one of them. <clears throat> still lead the league and flags. So you know, man, like I, I just um and and, and so, if you look at the week before that. You look at the week before that when uh, we played against the Bengals and um damn good Bengals offensive team, right? We was able to stay afloat. Even with the flags at the end of the game, um, what we saw this week was the the, the refs making a, a, a 
a, a conscious effort to throw flags on us when we do something wrong. Even if that shit what didn't have nothing to do with the play, they still was throwing the flags. And so um, I don't think they missed one this week, this, this past week. They did not miss a flag. There was no 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 calls missed. Um, they did they got hundred percent, and I think that was just um that was just a wake up call. And Steve, there's no there's no delusional. We talking about a two time damn near three time MVP right now, man. Um, you my guy, but yeah, man, you 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 got you got to respect that man's craft. Hey, do y'all think do y'all think Lamar scared of Pittsburgh? Like literally? No, not he's not scared. But whatever they do schematically gives him problems. He's not scared though. Oh, okay. You you like, you you saw John, the hard John is. Last drive. John is. Yeah, right. You say boo. I mean, he wouldn't have had a pick. It would have been no interception. Yeah, he would have. His pass percentage was down, but somebody hey. strung on the receiver or the running back to get that right, pick. Sure, it wasn't sure. like he threw it at him. And then when, yeah. yeah, and then when, uh, uh, uh when it was like uh, time <laughs> when he was going to throw the ball and he could have threw a pick, he overthrew the shit because they had a break on the ball. And so, I was watching first take that they made. Doug say said Lamar had paid up a putrid. A bad game. He ain't played no bad game. If you really watch Lamar, they played him really no bad. He 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 had a couple overthrows, but he played a good enough game to win. <laughs> um. So so what happens is what happens is Bruce. When you have a certain level of greatness, and then you play like that, it looks like a bad game because of what's expected of you. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it was. I'm saying Lamar is so great, and what we've seen from him looked bad. It, what, what, correction, what we've seen from him made it look bad on Sunday. You see what I'm saying? Because you know how good he is. Hey, the man shot is. Y'all think this conspiracy gets the Ravens with these flags? Y'all think the no, 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 no. You think it's a conspiracy going on? Like, because half of them are pre snap and now image. Yeah. Do you think no, you should no, believe no. stuff no. like that? Like, no, theories and shit, like. Certain motherfuckers is gonna get favor and certain motherfuckers nah. not. You feel me? You don't no, believe nah. it? I, I think I think it's um it's discipline. It's not the first time we've seen a Ravens offense have these problems on the John Harbaugh. It's not the first time. It's a, it's more of a coaching issue than it is a player. But it, it, I mean, you still have <laughs> these rookies, right? Who you know, Steelers Ravens is a really big game. Um, Steve is on the winning side of it right now, but. I'm pretty sure the next time we play him, he, he probably won't even show up to the show because I'm going to cook him. Um, but I, well, more importantly, like I saw Justin Fields uh, sighting, which it, it gave me concern. I'm like, damn, was they really like because Russell Wilson wasn't getting it going that they was thinking about replacing him with Fields? Was that a thing? No, um, no. It was but it was because what they wanted to run. They wanted to run the clock out. Exactly. Yeah. So they're yeah, like, we gotta, we gotta make sure we gotta make sure that we get this first down and Fields yeah. is more capable. And they were right. It was just that Justin Fields damn near fucked it up almost. Speaking of that, speaking of that, why didn't they adjust? And they seen Justin Fields there come in again. You already agree. What what's how what well, where's the intuitive I keep forgetting we ain't got no Ray Lewis on the air reads on that thing. He just a run for nine yards, Scott free like that. You know he's gonna keep it. Y'all already know y'all practice against Lamar Jackson every day in practice. You know what? <laughs> even That's even cool. if even if even if he do give it to um number twenty two, you still if he wouldn't have got no nine on the play. I would have sent everybody. I would have I would have blitzed that. I would have I would have went at Justin Fields on that play. Like well, I don't give a fuck if they do give it. To, if Najee get it, let him get it. I don't give a fuck. We can that fast motherfucker ain't get. He ran for nine. He luckily he slid a, a yard short. Mm-hmm. At least we had a chance. <laughs> right, right, right. Man, they put to send everybody on that fourth, that third and one. Yo, I mean, I'm tough about. Nah, you can't do that because if you that. if you miss, <laughs> and well, well, Justin Fields going to the house. house. Listen, <laughs> yeah, hey, you take it to the house. You, 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 you don't take the risk. You lose the chance. I would have said, listen, you knew that was going to be, come on third, come on third and one. Right, they weren't going to throw the ball right. They wasn't going. Come on, yo, that's just simple, yo. They're not, they wasn't going to throw the ball. I don't get it, man. Just you when I got there, y'all, I just sent the house. What they would have got a full blitz? No, no blitz. Blitz. Listen, blitz, blitz. listen, you uh-huh. you send that zero blitz, and then uh, like Transformer mentioned before, you got Tebow threw that <laughs> he threw that touchdown but to listen, freaking though, uh, what's the moment? Demarius Thomas. Never, listen, they would have never knew it was coming because I would have disguised it. 
I want to have everybody up in them, but I would have sent everybody. Yes. When that third one, come on, why not take that risk? Mm-hmm. Robbie, get ready to lose. This car bar just, he just up the area. I'm just, he got loose sometimes. He just airy. We just need a new, a new coach. I, I true. I ain't going to get it to y'all. I'm ready to get out this phone fast. I'll probably call him on the next joint. Go ahead, <laughs> no, man. No, no, talk no. about his, bro. All right, I'll talk brother. to y'all, man. All right, All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, bro. All right. Good call from Bruce, passionate Ravens fan, passionate Ravens fan. He's struggling. He's struggling. I feel him. Um, Todd Munkin don't give you a lot of a whole lot of confidence, man. But <laughs> um, okay, so what we're gonna do now? That, that was a that was a good topic, and uh, it didn't go crazy. So we we, we good there. 